about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember when the conversation was not being had. Yeah. When I think about the value that Julia, that you add to the life experience, I think it's an extraordinary gift. And so I want to highlight what you do with the people who don't know about Julia's, you know, black women and birthing yeah. people at greater risk for pregnancy related complications. Yeah. And so you have this person who can come in and kind of act as your navigator. Who's offering you emotional, physical yeah. support and information so you can make an informed decision about your care? I think that, I mean, as a general matter in the healthcare system, and especially when you are talking about gender and race and racial bias in the system, um, helping people to understand that they have a right to ask questions. Yeah. And they have a right to have those questions answered. Exactly. And I wanted to really create a space where people felt like, I am seen, I am heard, and I feel like someone genuinely cares about me. Uh, the nations have observed the 60th anniversary of the March on Washington. By the evening, a white gunman in Jacksonville, Florida, reportedly driven by racial animus, went on a shooting rampage at a store near Edward Waters University, a historical black university. Three black Americans were murdered in cold blood. Racist violence today harkens back to the church bombings of the cross and the cross burning. While we gather the facts, and law enforcement has opened federal civil rights investigation to treat this as a terror as a possible hate crime. The act of domestic violence extremism it clearly is. But we know this, as I made clear in my inaugural address, white supremacy is a poison. It's a poison. And the U.S. intelligence community determined that domestic terrorism rooted in white supremacy is the greatest terrorist threat we face in the homeland. We have to act. We have to act. 